and we're going to look at part of the commentaries on the message referring back to this document called <laughs> Seminar in Spain 1980 which turns out to be the material that a large section of the first part of the commentaries was taken from. So this is just an investigation into the original source material to see how much of it came across into the commentaries and if there are any other parts that would be just interesting to take a look at mm -hmm. and study. Yeah. And in particular, yeah. in that part of our doctrine mm -hmm. that has to, that I like to mm -hmm. say is on, in the, on the cusp of or hovers around the entrance to the profound mm -hmm. in that area. So we're going to look first at the chapter 14, Guide to the Inner Rod. And I'm going to read my not very good Google translation. Mm -hmm. We're going to see, or perhaps, could, could you read it from there, Maureen? Because that's the official, and I could <coughs> see if there's anything missing. And Janet's got the Spanish here. Mm -hmm. So we're okay. starting, sorry, because I don't think I am where you are. Uh, it's, it's chapter 14, okay, chapter 14. Guide to the Inner Rod. One more. There. Chapter 14 of the book is about the guide to the inner road. This guide has no greater pretensions than any other guided experience. Although it is framed within practices proposed in a transcendental direction that are suggestive or give an intimation of meaning. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's so, a it's a little bit different here. In the Spanish? Mm, yeah. Uh, it it, it um, says something about um, con la particularidad, particularidad de proponerse la tal experiencia a continuación del trabajo con la fuerza as a continuation of work with the force. So that's a bit different mm -hmm. than what you mm -hmm. just read. Taking into account <coughs> the direction that one can go in the phenomena. Yeah. Okay. It says something like the guide to the inner road can be carried forward in the same conditions as any other. The experience called death, for example, in the book of the community, takes up the themes of the guide to the inner road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Frame between drills, I think, is it, that enable a transcendent direction, suggestive phenomena or Suspected sense, mm -hmm. That's so something here. like that. Mm -hmm. Is that there too? That's here. Uh huh. Suggestive or gives an intimation of meaning. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what they use. Suggestive sense. That's right. Yeah. Intimation of meaning. Right. That's right. The intimation yeah. of meaning, not suggested sense. Right. So that's pretty much the same, except mm -hmm. this exactly. seems to talk about. A, it's a little more detail. An ex yeah. an extension mm -hmm. of the work with the force. That's what it said. Right. Just kind of a nice. Mm -hmm. Then the next part is chapter 19 mm -hmm. about the internal sets. Do you want to read that, Maureen? Mm -hmm. Chapter uh, 19 talks about the internal states. This chapter is not a guided experience and it does not claim to hold transferential solutions. Instead, it tries in an allegorical way mm -hmm. to describe presence to describe present situations in which readers may find themselves. Mm -hmm. This chapter is a poetic and allegorical description of various situations in which a person can find themselves while on their path towards the encounter with the meaning of life. Mm -hmm. oh, lovely. 
As its first paragraph states, you must now gain sufficient insight into the various internal states you may find yourself in throughout the course of your life, mm -hmm. particularly in this course of your evolutionary work. Mm -hmm. Here we understand evolutionary work as that which permits one to clear up unknowns in the development of the meaning of life. That's right. That's the bit I really like. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know. Clear up Clearing unknowns. Up Clearing up unknowns. unknowns. And it's, it says the same thing in Spanish. In the unveiling. Despejando mm -hmm. and, incognitas. Uh, uh, the, does he say unveiling of the meaning of life there? No. Clearly. He says development of. Because in the Google translation it says unveiling of the meaning of life. Which I like that I like sense yes. I, of that there's, it's there yeah, already. Already, yeah. And you just taking the veil off or pulling mm -hmm. the curtains mm -hmm. open. Mm -hmm. Here you know. in Spanish I believe it's deveiling and mm -hmm. not de developing, developing. Ah. because mm -hmm. in Spanish it's desarrollar uh, to which is to um, develop. Or and reveal. Could you say reveal? Reveal. reveal. Also. I like the it revealing. Reveals the, yes. And then mm -hmm. we're back as we were discussing a little bit earlier Casey, you know, about mm -hmm. The fusion, right, and not being separate, not being in the duality, mm -hmm. right. But you, you talked mm -hmm. about cleaning the lens, clearing, yeah, clean, you know, clearing yeah. the lens, it, and and I'm trying to get more into that language and that yeah. way of sitting with it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I was using the term inhabiting. You know, I'm. I think unveiling is a much better translation of this. Yeah, I'm failing. Mm -hmm. than, than to think of it as um, development. But it, it, it isn't development. No, it isn't. It, no. Because that's disarrollo. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. But again, I, what I think is interesting too is the evolutionary work permits one to clear up. Yes, mm -hmm. this is what yeah. I love grabbed that. me when clear I up. up unknowns. Yeah. yeah, you know, right? Unknowns. That's right. Weird. So you're going, yeah. you're going, unknowns. getting closer and closer and yeah. closer Incognitos. to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the clear incognitas, which is unknowns. Yeah, because I think our ascesis and us, all that is mm -hmm. our evolutionary work now. Right. Yeah. And it sh seems to me it should be about clearing up unknowns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what would some of those unknowns be? Well, I think what comes on next. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do, is... Do you think despejar could be wiping away too? Yeah, despejar also can be clearing, clearing mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, or wiping despejar. away. Wiping away, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, like... like I, I like this lens or you know, a, a clouded window. Yeah. So right. you, you clear it off so it you can begins see through. Clear, Steamed up window. Through. Something right. like that. Despejar. Yeah, and sometimes you, in, this, in the work, you, you feel like there is some kind of a veil that if you could just get right. rid of it, get rid of it, you would see clear. Right. You know, yeah. you would have some clarity on things that the questions or basically the unknowns that seem to come up frequently and mm -hmm. often and you know it is a direction that you put yourself in yeah. yeah yeah and there's a feeling that you could see things in a different way we have that intuition right. exactly. that we could absolutely there's another way to see things mm -hmm. Right, lovely. That part's Meaning lovely. Meaning of life. Hmm. Sounds like Monty Python's. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's about to break into I can see clearly. Right, yeah. <laughs> I can see clearly now. Anyway. <laughs> the rain is gone. Oh. Well, there's always human <laughs> yeah. We have to be a little, uh, as they say, moody. <laughs> Okay, so then chapter 20. What's to read that, Maureen? Chapter 20 titled Internal Reality. It's a little obscure. 
<laughs> its interpretation appears difficult for those who are not familiar with the theory of symbols and allegories and the phenomena of production, translation, and deformation De yeah. of, of impulses. Mm. In any case, and leaving aside the theoretical comprehension of this final chapter, it is not difficult to find people who can perceive with relative oh. clarity their internal states and are able to grasp those meanings on a profound level. As okay, okay that's, this is different here. Yeah. All right, yeah, it's yeah. different there. So Do you have it yes. there? Yes. yes. Yeah. Go ahead. So, Could it, we it, start with chapter 7? Chapter, I mean chapter 20, 10, excuse me, 20. chapter 20. Okay. So it says, somewhat obscure, uh, not familiar with the theory of symbol and allegory. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Impulses, okay. And then he says, surely the book of self-liberation in the chapter on operative and particularly dedicatus, whatever that didn't get translated, points to theory and practice of the transfer do more for the reader than pretending to give explanations. Yes, that's here. Mm -hmm. and, and it says um, there, it says, surely the book of self-liberation um, in that designated chapter uh, about operative. So it's yes. not operator, it's no. operative. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> and particularly the points dedicated to the theory and practice of the transference. Yeah, mm. do yes. more for the reader. Mm. Do say, more for the reader. Than pretending yeah. to give explanations. Right. Mm. Well, that's very clear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he says, anyway, leaving aside the theoretical comprehension of this final chapter, it is not difficult to find people who perceive accurately and capture its climate and its meaning on a deeper level as they would with a poetic as anyone would with it from a poetic paragraph mm -hmm. huh. that's not there is it no, no. well yeah I mean, it, it is it's sort of, it is it is paraphrased. paraphrased it's not difficult to find people who can perceive with relative clarity their internal states no, and are able different. to yeah. grasp those meanings on a profound level as they would that of any poetic phrase oh, yes mm -hmm. Yeah, it's similar. So it's similar. Yeah. yeah. And then he says, turning now to the chapters related to the force, the themes of the force, the luminous center, the internal light, the double, and the projection of the energy admit two different interpretations. Is that there? That's admit two You're different views. Now. Two different views. Mm -hmm. First, consider them as phenomena of personal experience mm -hmm. and thus keep them in relative isolation with those who have not registered, mm -hmm. limiting them in the best case to a more or less subjective descriptions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That seems the same. Mm -hmm. No, it's a little less, different. Yeah. Instead of in isolation, therefore tend not to discuss them with people who have not registered them. Okay, so that's a subjective interpretation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Second, consider them within a larger theory that explains clearly without appealing to the test of subjective experience. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If we proceed according to the first position, the experiences can be related to those which in turn describe other personas and explanations which can be accepted as rational system. Is that? Mm -hmm. Doesn't say any of that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has it in here. What, what does, what, it says you, it in here. The same thing. Like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. For example, the force can be said from this position, the force is the vital energy of the body that acts in continuous dynamic. Mm -hmm. It sets up different functions, it derives the action, the emotion, thought and perception mm -hmm. of a higher reality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So the force sets up 
Is he saying the force derives actions, emotions, thoughts and perceptions of a higher reality? Mm -hmm. Through the force, you get mm -hmm. those. This energy is able to externalize from the body, producing phenomena of action on the physical world and produces I can't get that, and produces something and produces it produces um, that which produces um, something about one's own body that an, that animates it or moves it Mm -hmm. Sobre el mundo físico, así como los produce sobre el propio cuerpo, one's own body, mm -hmm. that, is, that is animated, animado. Then something about death to occur. Upon the occurrence of death, the force will continue evanesciendo. Do you know what that means? Uh, it continues to its development outside the body outside of the body in increasingly higher levels mm -hmm. to set up as a entity also higher and configures also a higher entity wow. this disappearance by disintegration or this continuity by concentration depends on the amount of contradictory or unifying actions mm -hmm. that man carries in his Life, mm -hmm. more or less. That's Sorry. a little bit like in his viscera. <laughs> yeah, doesn't say viscera here though. That's a little bit like life. what used to be in the back of <clears throat> of the message book. Mm -hmm. In the force, we can relate to what in religion is called the soul, a force able to concentrate and extend in an evolutionary direction. It can relate to what religions have called spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, this doesn't sound right, but <laughs> the double is not outsourced <laughs> to like outsourced. India. <laughs> oh, outsourced. It says outsourced. outsourced it says yeah. the <laughs> double is is not a, an external like force. An external in a, in force. A, a light external force of, in life. Okay. But the strength in life or after death, to the extent that it receives and quotidiano effect in the world. A daily effects in the world. Can I read it? Yes. Um, the double is um, not like an externalized force of, of life or um, after death. In the measure that uh, it receives and produces effects of daily life or the daily world. Although with a mechanic that is particular and modified generally with the characteristics accepted in space and time. Wow. So, yeah. El doble no es sino la fuerza externalizada en, en vida o después de la muerte. So, is, as he's saying, the double runs counter to what is generally accepted by the characteristics of space and time that we live in. Yeah, in la medida in que recibe y produce efectos en el mundo cotidiano, aunque con una mecánica que le es particular y modificando generalmente las características aceptadas del espacio y tiempo. Mm -hmm. Modifying the characteristics that are accept accepted of time and space. Yes. Mo it's challenging the accepted that, right? characteristics of time and yes. space, modifying those things. Uh -huh. um, the inner light is the experience that occurs when the force is concentrated in an area of the brain and causing Ener energizing it to work at a higher level of mechanical consciousness. And causing it to work at a higher level. 
Uh huh. Then it's a mechanical consciousness. This also appears as an experience at the time of death, mm -hmm. if the concentration is adequate. That's right. That's what I've got. The luminous center refers to a point of the nervous system which is difficult to pin down pin down by the force. Mm -hmm. Is that what it says? Uh-huh. El centro luminoso se refiere a algún punto del sistema nervioso. Es difícil precisión que es actuado por la fuerza. Okay. No. The luminous center refers to a point in the nervous system that's difficult to give precision. Give to. precision to, and is activated by the force. Wouldn't they say to give precise location? To you them? can't. Yeah, that's my understanding. Mm -hmm. Is you can't quite locate it, mm -hmm. but it's activated by the force. And it is also an external phenomena. And it also it occurs in all living beings. Beings. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. living beings. All, todos los seres vivos. Even the baby deer? Mm. Even the baby yeah. deer. And then it says something about which aims yeah. twice if he has achieved unity at the time of death. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that right? Hacia el cual orienta el doble, in which the, the double, double is, forms is, it, oh. is orient, oriented or formed. Right. Se ha logrado unidad de, en el momento de la muerte, and it goes achieving unity in the moment of death. So all life forms have some <coughs> that's it. It's, yeah. some type of what force. Force. Yes, right. So life has in its, in and of itself, animate and inanimate objects could be referred to with some type of. It says living beings. Living beings. Okay. Seres vivos. So that's living beings. But if you. Mm. Hmm. This is brain work. <sighs> Then, this may be, may be why I left it out. <laughs> 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 Practical implications of this approach, logically, you can have them for who recognize experience, in these cases, firm faith without doubt, mm -hmm. right? Yep, a, a firm, firm faith, faith without, without doubt. doubt. That's Sin one of the... Without any doubt. Any doubt. Yes. Sin duda alguna. Without any doubt. And what kind of consequence? One is that life will sentido, is that continue beyond death? Uh, no, that life has meaning beyond death. death. Another is that some depart with the possibility of survivors, survival and others. Oh, shh. Yeah, I can't get that. Sorry, one minute. I'm lost now. I'm lost in the page. All right. I tried to expand it and it went. Technology loving. You hate it at the same time. Yeah, I know. Love it and hate it. <laughs> I wonder, can I get it on my phone too? Sure, of yes. course you could. Spanish? Yeah. yeah. It would make it easier for me. Yeah. I can make this Spanish too. No, but that's not, that's not what they're reading from, Mom. These are from the regular commentaries. <laughs> I think maybe some of this when it is what was in the inner exactly. religion, wasn't it? Mm, maybe. Which I don't get. I totally don't understand. <laughs> okay. So where, how do I find it on the internet? Uh, I'm going I'm to send it to you. Okay. I hope. I hope. Um... 
get out of this. Okay. Let's see how. Mm. Too bad we don't have it in written Spanish. Can Can I do it after? Can we just keep going and then I'll do it afterwards because I think it'll break the momentum. Okay. If it's not already broken. It is already broken. But that's okay. I just thought it might be really easy to do. Or you can sit here next to Jenna. Mm -hmm. Or you could. No, it would be too hard to read from that little phone mm -hmm. if I was yeah, sitting next I know. to her. I don't mm -hmm. know how she's reading it anyway. Okay, let's. That's look. what I thought on my phone. I'll, I'll do it. I'll, let me do it. So I will go here. It's a nice space in the video to, for people who are watching. <laughs> yes, right. To what just get in take touch a, with take themselves. A break. <laughs> no, <laughs> not take a break, yeah. but sort of reflect on what's been set up until now. The whole idea of uh, okay, like, edit it out. A, a, a <laughs> unity that goes on beyond death. I know, and it it seems that it appears to that Gmail. It I'm, it's in either one. I got both up. All boxes are open. It depends a right. lot on one's actions. You just haven't well. gotten it yet. Yeah, G, send it to Gmail, yes. Yeah, I just sent it. Well, okay. the whole idea of the meaning of, in life, what what meaning each person deems, or each person has a life that goes accumulating some kind of meaning over mm -hmm. the course of that mm -hmm. life. Right. And that's inherent to every human being. Mm -hmm. um, okay, I got it, Ken. Thanks. Right. So, on the grand scale of things, you know, it's hard to. So, it's going to open with um, the Spanish? Yeah, right, of course. Yeah. It's hard not to. And then you did a translation mm -hmm. afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yes. For a reason? I think we go building mm -hmm. that meaning too. You know, it's not a preset meaning. Meaning we go discovering it. Yeah. In the measure that we go building our life with actions. Right. We begin to feel that it has takes on a direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, back here again. Okay. 